Hello, Neil Dunlop, PGA Professional here with the online golf store. Um, I'm going to give you a bit of an overview of golf grip. A dual compound, it's a half court grip. Um, very popular design for us. It's one of the most popular online actually. Um, so, if you place an order, what you're going to get is a grey mailing bag, like they come in the post. Inside the mailing bag, you're going to have your your order and uh, just check that the quantity is right and that the color is right for what you've ordered uh, you'll get a fitting a detailed fitting instruction from ourselves just to show you step by step how to install the grip on your club uh, you'll get some professional double-sided grip tape with the order uh, it's very thick tape it's activated using white spirits and um, so you will uh, I'll show you how to regrip this at the end um, you can just put this on the shaft and, and we'll go through that um, so there's there's two different size options in this grip and um, you've got our mid-sized and you've got the standard size grip standard is all black white blue white red white black and the mid-size can be identified because it's gray gray red and gray blue unfortunately both the standard and the mid-sized in the all black have to be in all black but it is identified on the end as mid-sized <coughs> and standard so you can very clearly know which one you have um, in terms of the size of the grip uh, this grip length is approximately 260 millimeters long uh, the butt end on the mid-sized is about 30 uh, 28 millimeters across the standard one is 25 millimeters across standard grip weighs in at 48 grams for the enthusiast who wants to get their swing weights perfect and the mid-sized weighs in at 57 grams now um, these are 0.60 grips so the technical side of that is that's to fit a 0.6 of an inch butt end to the club shaft so we have a couple of tour fit shafts here and um, so I can just show you some shafts will differ on the butt end uh, but you're looking to fit the shaft if you take a ruler you're looking at approximately 15 millimeters across the diameter of the golf shaft both the steel and the graphite are exactly the same um, and point, point, point 0.6 of an inch or 15 millimeters with your with your ruler um, so that's about it for the product if there's anything that you need to know in addition to that you can get in touch through the message system and let us know and what I'll do now is I'll get a club and I'll show you how easy it is to fit one of these at home from your kitchen table okay so I'm gonna show you how to install the grip onto the club um, we just have a, a basic six iron here with a, a pretty manky uh, grip on it. Um, I like to use some, some white spirits. This is low odour white spirits, but really any white spirits will do. Double sided tip. I need a crafting knife and a bit of a cloth ideally. We'll pretend this is your kitchen table. You can wear some gloves if you want to. Again, I, I prefer not to. You just get a slightly better feel for the holding the club and fitting the grip so take the knife hold it away from you set the club down on the table carefully just run the knife along the back of the grip I like to do this a couple of times just always taking it away from you and just through the grip like so and you can see that I'm leaning that on the table just so as a, something to press down on start at the bottom and peel the old grip away and this one has been quite good so all of the old tape has come away from the club sometimes you can find a bit of tape residue left behind so you can peel that away with your thumb until you clean the shaft down take your double sided tape you want to make sure that about a an eighth of an inch or 10 millimeters of tape just sits 
slightly above the butt end of the shaft. But the tape itself is full of glue and it's the glue that holds the grip on. So you'll find that the tape is not the full length of the grip. Perfectly okay because you'll see that the glue will ooze out the bottom of the grip when we fit it. Peel the double sided tape away. Roll the tape around and tuck it in at the top. That's the most important part is that it gets tucked in at the top and that stops the shaft, sorry, that stops the grip from getting caught on the shaft as we, as we install it. Set that aside for a second. Open our white spirits. We're going to pop some white spirits. Put your finger over the butt end of the grip, over the hole in the butt. Pop some white spirits inside. There you go. don't have to fill it up, just put a generous amount in there. Give that a shake. Turn the shaft upside, turn the club upside down. Pop the shaft down inside the white spirits bottle because that's going to catch the white spirits. And then just pour the solution up and down the grip so it's all covered. Start at the end. Slide the grip on, you'll have plenty of time. You can see the glue ooze up. Get our logo and the top logo in line. And that's the grip slipped onto the club. Just use a cloth to take the excess glue and the excess white spirits away. And again, you have plenty of time if you just want to set the club down on the ground, get a good visual for where you want the grip position to be and that's your your grip installed ready to use. Again any questions let us know and we can get back to you as soon as possible.